Hi friends, it's Brittany Unique and Papyrus. How are you? Thank you so much for being here today. So as you may or may not have seen, I've been working in this bright pink funky aluminum foil journal and I will link the tutorial to that above. But today I want to take a break from that and do something more elegant, more charming. This is the folio I made with you guys not too long ago and today I want to focus on making some very elegant embellishments to go in here. Look at just how stunning this picture is. It deserves a beautiful frame. All right, so I'm just gonna trim this. Okay, so first I just wanna get a basic idea as to how large I want my frame to be. I'm just going to trace around the picture so we know exactly how big it is. Okay, now you can do this a couple of ways. You can fold this in half and just cut this out. That may be the easiest way and then cut the excess, um, the excess off the frame when you're done. If you want to be more precise, you can use a cut knife. And I think that's what we're going to do here. So I'm just going to line up my ruler exactly along the line I cut out or the line that I traced. Okay, not bad. I have just the slightest little hangover here. So I'm going to trim. Alright, we have ourselves a frame. Okay, and what we will do is, you're probably not going to, it's not going to be absolutely perfect. No matter how hard you try to trace it totally accurately. You'll probably have a little bit of white space. So what we can do is just back this photo with something. That's fine, that's exactly what we'll do. So now what we're gonna do is just make a couple of marks. We're gonna decide how wide we want our frame. You know, part of this will depend on um, how large your journal is. Mine is pretty thin. I will probably end up clipping it on but still, I don't really want a frame much larger than the journal. So, I'm going to leave I'm going to leave half an inch. So, we're just going to measure from here. This is half inch. And we're going to measure a half inch from here. Okay. Now we're just going to connect the two dots and draw a line. Okay. All right. Same here. I want half an inch.
All right. Now I'm going to get my paper cutter and we are going to cut this down. I think it will be a lot more accurate this way as opposed to trying to cut this out by hand. this to back the photo to give it a little bit more structure um we have a little white space well actually we'll probably need to back this with a paper that's a little bit larger okay now i want to distress this a little bit and i'm going to put down the pages and the pages will probably get distressed in the process and we can use this on our next little project just this little book i have at the ready to do is take a some ink um, you might want to use a paddle brush I'm just gonna start with the actual ink pad itself get some marks on that okay then I usually like to come in with some water and spritz it while the ink's dry or while the ink's still wet. Okay, maybe let it run a little bit. Might not run much, but still. I love grunging it up. Oh, and a paddle brush. So I'm just gonna. I made some on my own, but I think this is clogged up from the pieces of tea. That wasn't very smart. gonna wet this with this tea a little bit I need like a little pipette that'd be very useful right now okay all right now it's kind of wet let's get out my ground espresso we're gonna paddle brush this on just give it a nice base Be afraid to go outside the lines because this is going to distress our book pages for the next thing we'll work on. Okay. Let's see what this what we can do with this aged mahogany. is a mica spray let's use this walnut stain first i want to get some drips going here if we can yeah okay and you don't need much of this stuff this is like very pigmented um, 
I'm just going to, because this will stay wet forever, I'm just going to take this book page and mop it up a little bit. Let's see what this gray does for us. might look I don't have any right now on me but some gesso may look really nice on this like some white splatters that could look really cool okay so I think I might just back this with some book page Yeah, that's what we'll do. So I'm just going to put my frame like this. And we're not going to need much. stick on the paper and the frame and we're just going to bind the two together Okay, and you don't have to, as long as you've bound the photo to the frame, you don't have to book page all of it, but since this may be a removable in my journal, I am going to back the whole thing with book page. I love that. What do you think? I love that. I don't know. Let's see. I'm just going to press this in. The little edges here aren't quite under the frame. There we go. Beautiful. I think this is spectacular. What do you think? 
Okay, I was looking at the watercolor paper from the Valentine layouts we did a couple of videos ago and I was thinking how spectacular would some of these look in the corners. So let's do that. So what I'm going to do is I cut out a piece of the stamped paper and I'm going to glue it in the corner. Just like that. And then we'll trim it down. Get any bigger pieces. Okay, I really like this corner is not what I want. I don't know, it doesn't really look like, it looks inverted to me. I don't know what the problem is. So I'm gonna replace it. Okay, that's more the shape I'm going for. That looks better. Perfect. What do you guys think? I think this would look even better sewn, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, I'm just going to use my straight stitch and stitch around the frame on the outside. I love the sound look. Look at that. This is gorgeous. I want to make more of these. You can make this a, into a journaling card as well. Maybe put some gesso or some light white cardstock on here um, just to give people some extra writing room. Okay, next I want to make a belly band with you guys. So um, it's going to be a longer belly band obviously to accommodate the journal. I'm just going to mark out how wide and how tall I want this to be. I don't want this to be so wide that you can't see the text underneath. So I'm gonna say, 
I want it to end about there maybe and I want it to be about let's see we'll say yay tall okay I'm gonna cut this and I'll be right back okay I'm first gonna cover this in well actually we don't necessarily need to cover this up I'm gonna use the back um, and we'll leave the back of this as is so just looking at some of my ephemera pieces this is some beautiful fabric I actually don't mind it like popping off the page like that I think that could look really nice um, why don't we ink it up a little bit to give it a little more contrast What if we have like a flower coming out of here? Oh, that could look really nice. Okay, let's peel this off and stick this down. Maybe a little too much sticking off the page. There we go. Okay. I like that. Situate that the way we want it. I 
I think this the part would look right up here. See how you take a piece of cardstock and when you fussy cut images out and layer things, how it can totally change the effect and you can give it such dimension with otherwise kind of boring, just pretty pieces. And we get into something so cool. do this is kind of unexpected but what if we've done all these muted tones what if we liven it up a little bit this is kitsch flamingo it's not too crazy it's just a little bit of brightness I could put stickles on anything, so I'm probably a bad person to ask. This is beautiful though. I love this. Okay. How easy and unexpectedly beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna grab the stickle drawer. I'm thinking your popper would look really nice. Kind of tie in the pink. Um, let's see. Okay, I think I'm going to go all the way around. Why? Because it is stickles and I cannot control myself. Actually, to be exact, it's not stickles, it's liquid pearls. But, same thing. love 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 so we just did this with a piece of cardstock and um, one of those a stick on faux dried flowers and yeah we have ourselves a gorgeous belly band um, I was gonna sew it but I don't think so now that I've put the stickles on the outside so this is going to be a no sew belly band and 
and we will put this in our journal. And how lovely is that going to look? So that is one of my examples of an old tiny kind of Valentine themed embellishment. And then this I've decided since this is so wide, I am going to actually I'm going to put this aside until it dries before I wreck it. I am going to take this and bind it to the back cover with the twine closure instead of trying to shove it in the journal. I think I'm going to kind of make this like a big journaling card, put some gesso on the back for some extra writing room and bind this in with the twine. I think this would be like a really, really pretty addition to the journal. And there we go. So if you enjoyed this, um, which I really hope you did, and I hope this inspired you to um, create some Valentine vintage themed embellishments of your own. If you found value in this, please drop a comment below. Let me know what you liked, what you'd like to see more of. If you could hit that like and subscribe button, I would so appreciate it. My videos come out on Monday and Fridays, and I can't wait to see you the next time.